Naga kuniletea kithirani Eitha wahame Kenya Ama nitawaweka jela Ama wasafiri waende minguni A lot has been said uh, from this video I'm going to play down here but I want to say that President Ruto's alleged decision to target and challenge businessman Rai uh, in this video can be analyzed from various perspectives. And it's important to you to note that my analysis is based on publicly available information and should be viewed as an objective assessment. Watch this video. And from there, it's going to make a basis of what I'm going to discuss in this. Mananielewa, jambo la tatu, kuna makatel, wakora, matapeli, wako pale, sijui uyu anapeleka uyu kotini. Mungine anasema sijui alinunua ile kogen facility hapo. Oh, mungine alisema alifanya nini. Mimi nimewambia hawa watu wote. Hakuna mtu hako na kitu hapo. Hawa wakora wote watoke. Nini mnanielewa? Nimewambia hawa watu wote hapo watoke. Iyo kampuni ni kampuni ya wananchi. Na tutaipangia upia. Hakuna kesi tuta entertain hapo. Kesi watoe. Na wao wenyewe watoke. Nini mnanielewa? Tunaelewana? Na nimewambia mambo ni mangapi? Matatu. Wakitaka kuniletea kithirani? Eitha wahame Kenya? Ama nitawaweka jela? Ama wasafiri waende minguni? I want to discuss four possible reasons why President Ruto is involved in this case. But before I go on, if you are watching me for the first time here, kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And if you are watching me from a different platform, kindly go YouTube, search DMTV Kenya. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that every time I'm going to do a video, you will be notified by YouTube. This fight is because of you guys and I require your support. Thank you and let's go straight to the four possible reasons why the president is involved in this case. I want to say that uh, reason number one is political motivations. President Ruto may be targeting businessman Rai due to political motives. Uh, political leaders in our country often seek to maintain or consolidate their power by influencing or controlling the business sector in this country. By him challenging a prominent businessman like Rai, I want to say that President Ruto could be potentially gain reverence over what we call influential business networks or send a message to other business leaders. Number two is economic considerations. President Ruto, I can say that this decision to challenge businessman Rai might be driven by economic considerations in our country. He may believe Rai's business practices or monopolistic position in a certain sector may be determined to the overall economy. Ruto might be also seeking to promote what we call economic competition and open up opportunities for other businesses. Reason number three is corruption and accountability. This is another possible reason for him targeting Rai. This could be a genuine concern about corruption or illicit practices. 
if there are allegations or evidence of wrongdoing by Rai or his companies, Ruto's actions might be aimed at holding him accountable and sending a strong message against corruption. This reason could be part of a broader anti-corruption campaign. The second last reason, I want to give five reasons. So reason number four is what we call conflict of interest or political referral. In this case, it is possible that their interests crush all certain issues and Ruto may perceive Fry as a threat to his political ambitions mm -hmm. or agenda. Mm -hmm. High far, I can't conclude, but uh, evidence could be required to support such claim from the president. Mm -hmm. Number five, and uh, that will be my last reason, is what we call public opinion or popularity. Ruto's actions against the businessman Rai may also be an attempt to gain public support or boost his popularity in the region. That's all let me say that in our country. If Rai is seen as an influential figure associated with negative public uh, sentiment or perceived as an exploitative business leader in our country, Ruto's challenge could be seen as an, a proactive step to address public concerns and portray himself as a champion of people in this country. So ladies and gentlemen, those are the reasons I wanted to discuss in this video so that some people may understand why the conflict between President Ruto and businessman, right?